in this video. Whoa, holy s**t. I um, put my face on the bike. Oh, you put your own face on the bike? <laughs> now that is, uh, that's quite smooth. <laughs> I'm in Amsterdam and here is the hotel I'm staying in. I made sure to find the best hotel possible and I'm gonna show you my room or actually my suite apartment and then I'm gonna show you Amsterdam. Let's go and check it out. So which room did you choose this time? Okay, so I am staying in a very special suite. I have my own separate entrance directly to the street. So my own door, like literally a private door. Which is absolutely insane. Okay, so here are the normal rooms, but this is the apartment section or the baller section. So let's go to the baller section, guys. My butler that I have here, because every suite here in the baller section has its own private butler, he said that all of the most famous people in the whole world through history have stayed in these uh, suites. So that's why I'm very excited to show you this. So here at the very, very end is my suite. It's called the Carapel Suite. Carol Apple. <laughs> I have no clue who that is, but I'm sure it's someone important. And look at this. Welcome to my suite apartment in Amsterdam. Let's make a quick tour before we head out to the streets of Amsterdam. As you can see, it's more like an apartment than a hotel room. It's huge, very beautiful, and look at beautiful Amsterdam. I see the water right outside my window. Super, super beautiful. And I love the architecture out here. It's just incredible. Oh, this is the most comfortable bed I have ever slept in. This night I slept like a baby. Look how I'm sinking into this thing. Here's the um, toilet area with a Japanese luxurious toilet that does things to you. And then this is the um, bathroom. Quite usual for a hotel room, so it's not so spectacular. But I'm going to show you now the craziest thing about this suite or apartment. Look at this, guys. I have my own private entrance. Now we're straight out on the streets of Amsterdam. So you feel basically like home, right? Yes. This is not a typical hotel feel. This is like a um, apartment, and like a townhouse. Phil, what do you think? Let's go and um, take a look at Amsterdam. Let's do that, man. Okay, come, let's, let's go. Let me close my townhouse door. Boom. This is so unlike a hotel. <laughs> it's uh, actually this Amazing. I never experienced before. So I've stayed in many presidential suites, royal suites, that suite, blah 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 suite. But this somehow it's very different and I, I love it. It's not the biggest suite I've had, but it's definitely one of the most unique ones. And I must say I love it. Let's go check out Amsterdam and look, we're right in the middle of Amsterdam already, like in the center of the center and I'm straight out. But before we continue, we need to talk about your outfit of the day. Okay, first of all, the shoes are the most incredible shoes that I've ever seen before with my The Moon logo. And then these square jeans, as it should be, and a beautiful green hoodie to match my beautiful green shoes. That's a nice outfit for that. Yeah, and these glasses are chimmy glasses. And as usual, nope. Whoa. Wait a second, where's your Patek? Where no is watch, it? Guys. Look, as you know, Europe is not as safe as uh, I would love it to be. And uh, my Patek, I uh, left somewhere else. All right, let's go explore Amsterdam. Let's do it. All right, so now that we're walking here outside my suite, it is very interesting to see that the architecture here is very, very strange. The buildings are literally tilting. They are not straight at all. It looks like it's falling. And I'm gonna show you many of those examples. And after I've shown you a few examples, I'll share with you my theory as to why I think that is. Actually, this one is also tilting. Let's, uh, let's explore some architecture here. Actually, Amsterdam is quite known for being very, very free and very progressive how should i 
progressive. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it, though. but uh, let's you just You can, say, you can do Oh, I can smell it now. Yeah. I can These smell things that smell. The thing that smells, I can smell it right now. Let's just say there are things allowed here that are usually not allowed in other countries. That's the museum of that thing. Oh, I can, <laughs> I can, I can clearly smell right? it. Oh yeah, you smell it. Wow. I, I have to be honest, it smells quite nice. So but there is a museum. Interesting. The Mariana. Museum, that's cool. So basically, actually, bro, yeah, you look like someone of them. <laughs> you <laughs> you yes. match perfectly. Okay, so as you know, guys, I actually uh, five six years ago I stopped all stimulants. So no cigarettes, uh, no alcohol, no drugs, no plants, no nothing. And I'm not saying that something is good and something is bad. I'm just saying that I stopped everything to uh, clear my mind from any kind of stimulants to focus wholeheartedly on business and happiness because I think the key to productivity and happiness is to um, stay sharp and basically control yourself and handle yourself when you're sharp some people they, they use different stimulants to to perform better or to feel better but then you put yourself in a dependency situation you become dependent on something it could even be coffee it could be something so simple as coffee or sugar um, and it also can be much crazier things but um, I try to avoid any kind of stimulant and I also try <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't want to blur the whole video so I just go in this direction <laughs> let's just say can you describe what you see I'm seeing um, well, how to describe this without getting demonetized? You see a lot of skin. Skin. I see a lot of skin. That's yeah. true. Accurate, Phil. No. Okay. Let, let's uh, let's uh, blur this. But what we're seeing here is a. Um, it's called the um, peep show. It's a pe I, guys. <laughs> let's just say Amsterdam is a little bit crazy. I'm not judging anyone here, but I'm just saying that. Amsterdam is quite crazy and I don't even it's a little bit I'm a little bit speechless I think this is very very you know coming from Dubai when everything is like strictly clean oh that was a um, that was a lady oh that's another lady okay, here's another good example we put a straight line there in the video and you can clearly see that it's a very very tilted house looks strange let's go forward so here's a good example of what you can find here. This is a mushroom. This is like a mushroom cafe, I guess. You can uh, buy mushrooms and uh, lollipops with mushrooms inside. So what you can see here is a whole menu of stuff that you can buy that will, um, I guess, take you to the moon or something. Very interesting, very interesting. And that's just one cafe or shop out of many here that are... That, that's another one. <laughs> Crazy. This place is so unique. So here you can see a great view of Amsterdam, the iconic river that flows in between these beautiful buildings. But actually the main reason why I'm in Amsterdam is because of the Formula 1 and Formula 2 to support Ralph Boschon, the best Formula 2 driver in the world. So we're gonna, in just a few minutes, we're gonna start leaving towards the track and check out the whole F1 Grand Prix experience, but let's uh, keep uh, walking around a little bit and then we leave. Okay guys, I found such a crazy store. This is insane. So here is one of those shops that are very iconic for Amsterdam and I love the uh, contrast and the combination between aliens and very very um, well, let's say not so family friendly stuff and here you can buy literally anything you want and if everything is legal everything is completely allowed and it's just very very spectacular to see this actually wow look at this it's like um it's uh, it's so in insane Sh chocolate it looks nice actually it looks very tasty very tasty i'm not having it but um i'm sure people enjoy this a lot all right that was unusual for me i must say wow here you can see the legendary Obunch or the Solomatic, the Fast Eddie. The names 
are on point, I must say. Some of these names really makes me want to dive into the forests of craziness, but I'm not going to. All right, so here's a great example of the tilted building. It looks like it's falling out. And the nice thing about this example is we have a modern building right there, and then we have that ancient building right there. So here you can see the contrast between the straight line and the building that is falling out. And my personal theory here is that when the Great Mud Flood took place, it put the whole city a couple of meters underwater and the, the mud and water just made the foundation liquid which means that the building started to tilt and bend and now the whole city or the inner city of Amsterdam here is completely like tilted it looks like someone with bad teeth like, a, like an old witch it's crazy beautiful buildings but they clearly are tilted so yeah let me know in the comments what you think about that look at this we just went past this place and look at that guy this is a great example of how tall the giants were look at the difference in his feet in my feet in the hands <laughs> the giants are real or they were real hello Hi. how are you i'm good thank you for asking how are you doing oh, incredible a few questions why is there a wooden bugatti there so, uh, do you know Guinness Book of Records, the world record book? Yes, I know this. Yes, so it takes a it's very similar concept to the world record book. The most strangest things, like the Bugatti, so it's actually a boat. Okay, this is a crazy place. Let's take a look at this Bugatti. What color is your Bugatti? Wooden. So apparently this is a boat. It looks almost like my Bugatti. Wow, that's cool. Very cool. Okay, uh, let's just do a quick run through maybe. So apparently this girl got lost as a kid and uh, lived with wolves for eight years. So she became a wolf girl. <laughs> That's crazy. She needs a Bible urgently. Okay, let's go in here. Whoa. Imagine she opens her eyes now. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy has the world's longest nails. He has not cut his nails in 66 years. Apparently there was a lamb born without a face. And this lamb has two faces. Mathematically and logically, these two would complete each other. Maybe they're soulmates. But it looks like something from Resident Evil. Yeah. That is insane. That's crazy guys. So now you know how how huge these people were. Some of them back in the days. Crazy. So here is an astronaut. Looks like he's dying. And here is a um, beautiful painting of uh, the Earth. As uh, NASA thinks it looks like. There is a beautiful image of the um, uh, studio and a nice little composite of different um, images to make it look uh, like a moon, but the real moon is right here. That's the only real moon that I ever know. Did you do this before, Phil? I don't know what's behind you. Bro, prepare to get insanely dizzy, okay? Holy shit, You never did this before? No. Okay, try to walk normally now. Okay, one, two, three. Whoa. Holy s**t! <laughs> Holy s**t! It's crazy! Walk! Walk! Bro, I can't! Wait. Walk! <laughs> walk! <laughs> Holy s**t! It's crazy! Oh. How was bro. that, bro? <laughs> that was crazy! Bro, I couldn't believe that! <laughs> so you're telling me it's not moving? It's not moving! Confucius. It's just because of your eyes? Yes, the brain gets uh, super confused. Because the visual and physical stimuli diverges like crazy and your brain just gets so, I'm so confused. confused right now. Yeah, it's crazy, right? No, it so feels like everything is moving. Guys, I found another dreams. Follow your dreams. Shout out to you, bro. I love you. back 
That was Back. nice actually, the museum was quite nice. That was crazy guys. Amsterdam is absolutely incredible, super beautiful. And actually, I think this is a great example. You can see over there, everywhere in Amsterdam, all of the windows are below the ground. And it's just so strange, but it makes sense when you think about it. Like I said earlier, when the big flood came, the buildings were laid below the big pile of mud. The building started to shift a little bit, became tilted, and then now the windows and doors are below ground, and and it, it just explains everything to me. But let's now go to the Formula One track, guys. So we're getting ready right now. See you at the track. Let's go into the campus. In here we can actually. Hey guys! Hello? Everything good? Very good, very good, very good. Hey, everything good? Nice. Yeah. Nice. Hey. So, Nicole, how are you? Very good, how are you? Yeah, this good, is thank uh, you. Matt Harry. He's nice my nice. teammate. Oh, Netflix. really? Yeah. How are you? Everything good? Nice. So, a bunch of team members are making sure that this set performs well on track. Use the law of attraction, very important. <laughs> I'm the first person in the history who ever put his face on a Formula car. That is crazy. All right, guys, now I'm warming up with Ralph. <laughs> Let's go. Your ass hit my ass. Come on, Carl, destroy him. Can we go back up? Just five, I always do five first. And then the neck, push like this, and then you go push the neck. Push where? Like you're simulating like you got G, so you pull with the hand and then you push the other side against your hand. Yeah, okay. And you release on the other side. Guys, being a Formula 2 driver is not so easy. You need to, like, literally, it's very physically demanding yes. in the car. So now we do some jumps. And then also coordination. So, like this, do like this. Always the opposite hand. And then you start to jump. Very good. It's good, Carl is ready to go drive. <laughs> now we go to the moon. From Sweden, Dubai, and now in the Netherlands. Paul Renefeld. Oops! <laughs> Let's go! Great, man. The last time you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Right now we're eating Otto with Dutch oh, Perpomante. One, one more. Here, you, oh, wow. you, you want to. Mm. Cheers, bro. Usually you are the star, but in Holland <laughs> he's the star. Ah, yeah, of course, of course. Dutch performante. Yes, yes. Come on, let's go. Big star. It's like Italian uh, Jeddah. That was crazy, yeah. Oh, Bowery. Bowery. <laughs> yes. Okay. Second? Ralph Boschel. <laughs> Ralph Boschel. Okay, nice. I um, put my face on the car. Oh, you put your own face on the car. Now that is. Uh, that's quite smooth. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you know first. Yeah, exactly, it's the first. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you do what you gotta do to yeah, yeah. Yeah. promote yourself. Huh? And uh, yeah. is the theme that's coming with that? Are you dealing with it with oh, yeah. you or psychologically? Yeah, people say, no, you're the dude people. on the car. Yeah, in, in the for, <laughs> from a two part, like yeah, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, literally, people recognize yeah. it from that. Yeah. It's funny, it works. I mean, you gotta do something that no one did before to yeah. stick out. So, no, no, yeah. Yeah. Well, I had my bomb on a poster in Spa because yeah. I... He's <laughs> opposite our garage. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I went on a nudist beach here last year for a filming <laughs> and just there was a picture taken and then someone printed the poster and was yeah. hanging in front of Christian, distracting yeah. him yeah. during yeah. the Grand Prix. Yeah. 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 crash coming out of the garage. Yeah. Yeah. That's so insane. there's your next thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think they draw the line with the dick pics yeah. on the car. But you're <laughs> <on the car. laughs> 
I don't yeah. think that's important, yeah. but yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So, cool. so this is like a Bybit dinner, yeah? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Your customer with Bybit? I'm actually their number one yeah. tourist. I'm looking, I'm going to be looking for you on the car tomorrow yeah. now, you know. They, <laughs> I met the guy on the side of the car, so yeah. uh, there you go. Guys, we just landed here in Dubai. I'm gonna put on my shoes and then walk out and uh, take my car back home. Subscribe right now and press the notification bell downstairs because below this video, if you press that notification bell, you get notifications to my videos. And I know that you guys are binge watching these videos. I've seen your comments, I read all the comments. Thank you for the support. I love you guys more than anything. If you haven't seen this video right here, Make sure to click it right now and I will see you guys over there. Bye bye.